welcome to this video lecture this is a continuation of the previous lecture so in lecture 1 of this compound angles so we have derived uh, the formulas so what are the formulas we have derived first one is sin a plus b so sin a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b and second one is sin a minus b just I am writing all these uh, formulas on the paper so sin a cos b minus cos a sin b and third one is cos a plus b equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b and fourth one is cos a minus b is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b and fifth one tan a plus b is equal to tan a plus tan b divided by 1 minus tan a tan b next to tan a minus b so sin a plus b sin a minus b cos a plus b cos a minus b tan a plus b next tan a minus b is tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a tan b next to seventh one cot a plus b cot a plus b equal to what is cot a plus b formula cot a cot b minus 1 by cot b plus cot a next cot a minus b is equal to cot a cot b plus 1 by cot b minus cot a so in today's class so let us try to derive some other formulas okay so the next formula is so what is the value of this uh, sin a plus b into sin a minus b so already we know sin a plus b formula so this is sin a plus b formula just write down sin a plus b formula here sin a cos b plus cos a sin b so this is sin a plus b formula into next sin a minus b so sin a minus formula just here we have it is enough to write minus so that is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b ok right sin a plus b into sin a minus equal to this one so this one and this one both are same and this one and this one same if we treat this as a plus b into a minus b we can write this as a square minus b square a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square so sin a cos b whole square minus cos a sin b whole square so so which formula we are using it just i wanted to write here a plus b into a minus b formula equal to a square minus b square so so here we can write uh, this one as sin square a and cos square b minus cos square a and sin square b first one square second one square which formula you are using here so if we have like this a b whole square we can write a square b square so now uh, i want formula sin a plus b into sin a minus b in terms of sin only in terms of sin only so we want formula in terms of sin so sin only that's why so i wanted to convert this cos terms in in as sine terms just convert this cos terms as sine terms sine square a into cos square theta can be written as 1 minus sine square theta theta is b here minus here we have cos so this one i wanted to convert in terms of sine 1 minus sine square a 
into sin square b. So sin square square plus cos square square is equal to one. So from that formula, I am writing like this. I can multiply and say this sin square a into one. Sin square a plus it minus minus sin square a into sin square b. Sin square a into sin square b. Minus it to plus minus minus one into sin square b is sin square b. Minus it to minus plus sin square a into sin square b. Negative term, positive term cancel. Negative term, positive term cancel. So just we have sin square a minus sin square b. So what is this? Sin a plus b into sin a minus b. Suppose. Uh, Uh, if you want the formula in terms of cosses, then convert this sin terms in terms of cos. Just uh, sin square a can be written as one minus cos square a minus sin square b can be written as one minus cos square b. One minus cos square a minus it plus minus one minus it minus plus cos square b, which is equal to minus one plus one cancel. First of all, write these positive terms, then negative terms. So, sine a plus b into sine a minus b equal to cos square b, cos square b minus cos square b. So, this is a formula for sine a plus b, sine a minus b in terms of sines, and sine a plus b into sine a minus b formula in terms of cosses. Okay. Right. So let us check what happens. This cos a plus b into cos a minus b, which is equal to what is cos a plus b formula? Cos a plus b formula is cos a cos b. So here we have cos a plus b formula. Cos a cos b minus sin a sin b minus sin a sin b into cos a minus b is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b so here also we can treat this one as a and a this two are same this two are same a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square cos is, sorry cos a into cos b whole square minus sin a into sin b whole square so which is equal to cos square a and cos square b minus sin square a into sin square b okay so which is equal to so here we have a in terms of cos here we have a in terms of sin so if you wanted to change this a in terms of cos or a in terms of sin but both should be in one angle only both should be in same angle that's why I wanted to convert this cos in terms of sin, one minus sin square a. So now a angle in terms of sin. Now check here b angle in terms of cos here in terms of sin here. This should be in terms of cos or in terms of sin only. Okay? Just keep this as it is. Cos b minus cos square b minus sin square b. So this one I wanted to convert in terms of cos, one minus. Cos square b, which is equal to multiply and say this one into cos square b, cos square b minus plus it minus minus sine square a into cos square b, sine square a into cos square b minus sine square b into one, sine square b. Minus it minus plus. So sorry, this is uh, sine square a. Okay, this is sine square a. Minus it to minus plus sine square a into cos square b. So plus term minus term cancel, which is equal to cos square b minus sine square a. So this is the formula for cos a plus b into cos a minus b is equal to Cos square b minus sine square. 
or we can change this cos square b as 1 minus sin square b and here sin square a as 1 minus cos square a equal to 1 minus sin square b minus it plus minus 1 minus it minus plus cos square a minus 1 plus 1 cancel so first I'm writing positive terms cos square a minus sin square b so this is cos sorry cos a plus b into cos a minus b is cos square a minus sin square b so this uh, for cos a plus b into cos a minus b also we have two formulas so in this formula we have one sin, sin term and another one is cos term one sin one cos involved but anyhow this formula should start with cos only this formula is start with if it is cos square a then another one is sin square b if it is cos square b then another one is sin square b so two terms will involve here okay right so therefore so far we have eight formulas the ninth one is sin a plus b into sin a minus b is equal to sin square a minus sin square b just uh, remember this one is a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square nine next uh, sin a plus b into sin a minus b is equal to in terms of cos cos square b minus cos square a next uh, 11 cos a plus b into cos a minus b cos a plus b into cos a minus b equal to so cos a plus b into cos a minus formula should start with cos cos square cos square if here we have a then other one is sin square if here is a then this is b if you take b here then sin square should be a okay right so similarly we can also derive formulas for for sin a plus b plus c also so we get this formula as sin a cos b cos c plus cos a sin b cos c plus cos a cos b cos a cos b sin c minus sin a sin b sin c so and cos a plus b plus c so these are not important at any time you can uh, derive this formula like this you have to find out this formula sin a plus b plus c just keep these two angles as one term sin a plus b plus c now apply sin a plus b formula sin a cos b plus cos a sin b okay now split this one by using cos a plus b formula sin a so here cos b plus c is cos b cos c minus sin b sin c plus cos a into here sin a plus b formula sin b plus c is sin b cos c plus cos b sin c just simplify this you will get this part you will get this part okay right now let us try to find some angles uh, some uh, angles of the trigonometric ratio so far we know trigonometric ratios of 0 trigonometric ratios of 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees now i am going to find sin 15 degrees cos 15 degrees with the help of this compound angle formulas okay first problem problem one find the value of sin 15 cos 15 values let us go and tan 15 cosec 15 sec 15 cot 15 
find the values of all these. So let us find all. So answer. So first let us try to find this sine 15 only. Sine 15 degrees is equal to but we don't know sine 15, we know sine 30, sine 0, sine 45, sine 60, sine 90. Now I wanted to write this 15 as in terms of known angles. We know 45 degrees sine 30 degrees. This 15 can be written as 45 minus 30 or you can write 60 minus 45 also. The difference between 60 minus 45 is 15, 45 minus 30 is 15. Now use sine A minus B formula. So here we have sin a minus sin a cos b minus cos c sin b. Sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. What is sin 45? 1 by root. Cos 30? Root 3 by 2. Cos 45? 1 by root 2. Sin 30? 1 by 2. So which is equal 1 into root 3, root 3, 2 into root 2, 2 root 2 minus 1 into 1, 1, 2 into root 2, 2 root 2. So if we take LCM, we get like this, root 3 minus 1. This is sine 15 value. This is sine 15 value. So this is sine 15 value. Next, let us try to find cos 15. Cos 15 is equal to, so 15 can be written as 45 minus 30. Cos A minus B is cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. Cos 45 1 by root. Cos 30 root 3 by 2. Sin 45 1 by root 2. Sin 30 1 by 2. 1 into root 3, root 3. 2 into root 2, 2 root 2. 1 into 1, 1. 2 into root 2, 2 root 2. If you take LCM, we get this. So this is cos 15. Next, tan 15 can be written as sin 15 by cos 15. So which is equal to what is sin 15? Root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2. Cos 15 is root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2. 2 root 2, 2 root 2 get cancelled. So this is root 3 minus 1 by root 3 plus 1. Okay? So now rationalize the denominator. Root 3 minus 1 by root 3 minus 1. Here we have root 3 plus 1. That's why I'm multiplying numerator denominator with root 3 minus 1. Which is equal to so these two are same we can write root 3 minus 1 all square a plus b into a minus b is a square minus 1 square use a minus b all square a square plus b square minus 2ab divided by square square root get cancel 3 minus 1 equal to square square root as 3 plus 1 minus 2 root 3 divided by so this is 2 sorry so this is 2 so 3 plus 1 is 4 minus 2 root 3 divided by 2 just take 2 outside the numerator 2 minus root 3 divided by 2 2 to get cancelled 2 minus 3 so this is tan 15 this is tan 15 Next, cosec 15. So no, don't write this as cosec 45 minus 30 because cosec theta is 1 by sin 15 equal to 1 by how much this? Root 3 minus 1 by 2 root. So this is equal to 2 root 2 by root 3 minus 1. Again, rationalize this. Just I'm rationalizing with root 3 plus 1. So which is equal to 2 root 2 into root 3 plus 1 divided by a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square equals to 2 root 2 into 
root 3 plus 1 divided by square square root get cancel 3 minus 1 this is 2 root 2 root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 2 2 cancel multiply inside this root 2 root 2 into root 3 is root 6 root 2 into 1 is root 2 so this is cosec 15 next uh, sec 15 sec 15 is 1 by cos 15 1 by cos 15 is root 3 plus 1 by 2 root so this denominator fraction we can write in as like this 2 root 2 by root 3 plus 1 so then uh, rationalize this denominator so here root 3 plus 1 so we have to rationalize root 3 minus 1 by root 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2 into root 3 so 2 into root 2 into numerator that is root 3 minus 1 divided by a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square equal to 2 root 2 into root 3 minus 1 divided by square square get cancelled 3 minus 1 which is equals 2 root 2 into root 3 minus 1 by 2 2 2 cancel now multiply inside this uh, root 2 root 2 into root 3 is root 6 minus root 2 into 1 is root 2. that's all next cot 15 cot 15 is 1 by tan 15 1 by tan 15 1 by tan 15 equal to 1 by what is tan 15 2 minus root 3 again rationalize this one 1 by 2 minus root 3 here we have 2 minus root 3 that's why I am wanted to rationalize with 2 plus root 3 just we are rationalizing a denominator equal to 2 plus root 3 divided by 1 into 2 plus root 3 is 2 plus root 3 a minus b into a plus b a square minus b square which is equals to 2 plus root 3 by 2 square is 4 minus square square root get cancel 3 so 2 plus root 3 by 4 minus 3 is 1 so this is just 2 plus root 3 so therefore so we got all values sin 15 is root 3 minus 1 by 2 and cos 15 is root 3 plus 1 by 2 and uh, tan 15 is 2 minus root 3 and uh, cosec 15 is what is cosec 15 here root 6 plus root 2 and sec 15 is root 6 root 6 minus root 2 and cot 15 equals to so here we have cot 15 2 plus root 3 now we know the 15 degrees of all trigonometric ratios so similarly we can find uh, 75 also 75 is 45 plus 30 75 is 45 plus 30 so we will uh, we'll solve that uh, trigonometric ratios of 75 degrees in the next uh, lecture so thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and share among your friends thank you